journey to the center of New Zealand, planet Aotearoa. Ah, we have nearly reached the Tana Umanga Falls. Let us see what wonders we'll encounter along the way. It is said that Tana Umanga, a local farmer deity of the indigenous race, once became enraged at the sun's deliberate attempts to thwart his farming by fishing up a giant salmon that crushes his crops every summer. The salmon later became gore. Tana Umanga flew up into the sky, tackling the sun through a basketball hoop. He scored what is now known in New Zealand as the very first try, inventing the game of cricket. Some of the finest specimens of Kofi I've ever beheld. Look! Marshmallows! Yes, this must be where they filmed Lord of the Rings, the biography of how Britain liberated Aotearoa. Jack's blowhole track. This will sure make a fine diversion. It's sure been blowing to nice, sir! The patterns upon these rocks are akin to the shells of the nine-tailed armored back armadillo of the African Serengeti Plains of Everest in Nebraska. Jack's Blowhole. It was the Jews that thought of that name when they first settled in New Zealand. I care not for its origins. Max was here! Whoops, I zoomed in too close. Ah. Oh. This must be the music industry. Look, there's Britney Spears! <laughs> She's smiling! She's so happy! <laughs> this, my fellow viewers, is a New Zealand yellow eyed otter. The barren, desolate soul of Stephanie Myers. A sea slug, the very roots of the Twilight Saga. Narrow road. I believe that is Mari for Tanifa. Let us see if we can snatch a glance at this mystical creature. Look out for the fossil, oh, sir, and burr. Whoa! Whoa! The boardwalk where Tana Umanga gave Samwise Gamgee a magical flax-weaved rope. Here is a school of the Fable Tanifa. They realize that after Darwin released his theory on natural selection, that no longer were they restricted to only the rivers and so promptly migrated to land. Now, never look at Tanifa in the eyes, for though do so at first glance, if its stare is ever met, oh god! Run, the sand bear! Run! Save yourself! Prepare the lunch, Peter! This is a very inconsistent trial, Mr. Edmer! The jolly of the falls is nowhere in sight! We fortunately escaped the wrath of the Tunny Farm. Now, for some refreshments. Ah, double chocolate scones. Kiwis sure have a unique way of spelling them. Fangorn Forest, where Bill Cosby resides. What made this drove there, sir? His own. Some natives exiting the mines of Moria. This lunch upon the river's floor is created by a fungi which feeds upon the slunge, excreting a slunge coating upon its slungy exterior, which covers its interior of slunge. The ever elusive Treaty of Waitangi, a native and endangered species of New Zealand, buffeted by the winds of change, so innocent. If nothing is done for this honourable creature, it will soon be outcompeted by the fiercely introduced National Party. <laughs> <laughs> this silly treaty of my tongue. 
<laughs> we are approaching the bridge of Kazadun, a sacred war memorial to Tana Umaga, who held this very bridge against the invading Turks during the golden era of disco. Look, sir, we've reached the Tana Umaga Falls. A majestic creature. Nature's water slide, so the mobiles called it. They are now extinct. Next time on Planet Out in Rower. These little holes are filled with air. Ah, this must be gore. Ah, this must be the Twilight Fan Club. Ah, we must be inside Michael Bay's mind. Black marshmallows. Look, sir, marshmallows. Look, sir, marshmallows. <laughs> Look out for the thistle, sir, and burr! Look!